All right, well, let's do this. Um, let's actually get into these cigars. So this okay. will be my first time. So we have one fresh in the package. So like, how does the whole unraveling, you know what I'm saying, examining one and then the cutting of the cigar, like how does that work? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what you have, right? Mm -hmm. uh, these two are the same cigar, same company, just uh, the blend is slightly different and the wrapper is different. Okay. So it's called a Sir Robert Peel. This is by Protocol Cigars, right? This little clear thing right here is called cellophane. It's not plastic. It looks plastic, but it's not. Okay. It's actually made of cellulose because if you looked at it on the microscope, uh -huh. you could see the microscopic little holes in it that allow it to breathe like a sponge. Oh, right? okay. So it's not plastic. It's cellulose. Yeah, I definitely would have thought it was plastic. Yeah. So, um, so you take that out, and then these cigars actually have a foot band. A what now? A foot band. Okay. So you just slide the foot band off. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you the easy way to do it. Just uh -huh. go with, go with the head and uh -huh. then just squeeze it down. Like this? Yep. And just push it down. Ah. Ah. It's a very educational episode as yeah, you can take see. Take that out and then uh, just pull the foot band off. Pull the foot band off, which right. was at the tap. All right, so cool. I have brought my uh, this is the cutter I, I pretty much use, unless I'm using my teeth, which I use my teeth half the time. Um, this is what you call a straight cutter or a mm -hmm. guillotine cutter. Okay. Right? So all you're gonna do is, would you like to do it or would you like for me to do it? Yeah, I'd like to do it. Okay, where, perfect. How do you, I'm glad you yeah. said that. <laughs> yes. so, so where do you like, as far as cutting it, like where do you cut? How do you so, determine where so to cut? Is, great question. So what you do is before you do anything, you look at the cigar. Uh -huh. This is, so the anatomy of the cigar is like, this is the, the whole cigar, right. this is the barrel, Okay. this is the foot, mm -hmm. this is the head, All right. this is the cap. Okay. You want to cut the cap off. Okay. Like literally like you're taking your cap off yeah, the head, yeah. same thing. Okay. There is a line. If you start at the top and look I down, the first line that you see, yep. that's the cap. Okay. So you're going to put the, the guillotine right over there. As mm -hmm. soon as you see the cap poking through, mm -hmm. you just snip it off. Let's see what you got. Well, you know what? That's uh, that's way too much, but for your first time doing it, not bad. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't great, but it ain't bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me see real go. quick. So, um, so yeah. oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. That's what Damn, yeah, I definitely took out too much. Yeah, yeah. So what happened? So since I took a little bit too much off, like, what would I like get more? Well, so. The, one of the things about using a, a guillotine cutter is that you can vary the the opening. Mm -hmm. So right now your cigar is, is full it's open. open. Yeah, she's right? open. So and because I've had this cigar quite a few times, I already mm -hmm. know what the draw is like. Right. Um, and, and, and it's it's not rolled too loose uh -huh. and it's not rolled too tight. It's gotcha. actually kind of perfect, gotcha. right? But since you've got it full open, mm -hmm you're not going to puff on your cigar probably as much as I would because gotcha. my, my open is, right. isn't as big as yours is. Gotcha. Right you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So uh, the, the general rule of thumb is like a couple of puffs a minute. Okay. And, uh, you know, some people in the cigar community, they hate rules, mm -hmm. right? I don't like to use, I don't like to say rules as much as I like to say best practices, right? Uh, you can you, you buy your cigar, you can enjoy your cigar however the hell you want. You pay for it. Right. But if you want to enjoy it better, there are certain best practices. Mm. And some people they hot box their cigar, they're like, you know, they three, four, five puffs uh -huh. every minute and it got and it keeps on having this cherry uh, at the end of it. Yeah. And that just it ruins the experience. Gotcha. So there's a couple of different ways you can light a cigar. My preferred method, especially when, you know, air conditions permit, is by using a wooden match. A wooden match gives you a soft flame, and that's what you want. And the thing is, hold on a second. Good. Yeah, this would be good for me to see how to actually light it. All right, so you round it. All right, cool. So you know how it's red on the end? Uh-huh. That's what you want. That, that lets you know that all the tobacco is yeah. red, right? So, so I, I, um. The other way to do it is with a torch. Okay, yes, yeah, so I've so seen the torch. So you can just take this, mm -hmm. and then what you do, in your case, so the science of flame dictates that- Can you speak to the mic? The, uh, the, the science of flame dictates that the, the blue is uh -huh. the hottest part of the fire. Right. So it's actually hot right here. Right. So you don't need to put the blue in the cigar. You can just back it up. Okay. You see what I mean? Damn. 
Because what you want to do is you want to roast and toast, not scorch and torch. Mm. So we're going to roast and toast, not scorch and toast. Yeah. So just aim it, aim it at the foot. Don't put the blue in it. Gotcha. So just aim it at the foot. And then and you'll do it at an angle. And then just roll it around until you see the entire foot is red. And then you give it a little blow to make, the, the, make sure the embers are burning on their own. Let me see what you got. L light it up a little bit more because your, your edges are good, but your, your filler isn't. So that's why you want to hold it down get at the, the angle. Like that this. middle. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. There you go. Now, when you see the inside of the barrel lit, then take it out, give it a blow, and then take a draw. That's a lot better. And see, when you draw on it, every time you draw on it, you're, 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 uh, you're keeping it lit. Got you. With the airflow. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I mean, it's pretty much like the same science. I used to smoke a lot of weed, <laughs> so it's the same science. I, too, have smoked quite a share of weed in, 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 uh, in, the, in the day. And so that's actually, like, been, like, an issue with me as far as smoking cigars and hookah. How you said the young lady that introduced you to the cigar, first thing she said was don't inhale. Right. I never really, and I'm still learning how to I always smoke everything like a blunt. So like, well, I, I don't do hookah because I would get lightheaded because I would like inhale it, right? Right. But with with cigars, you can not inhale, right? It's more so. You didn't in, you didn't inhale when you smoke blunts. When I smoke blunts, no, I did. Oh, okay, what I'm okay. saying is I smoke everything else like I smoke. Oh, blunts. okay, I got you. you I got you. I got yeah. you. Yo, because you know what? I'm trying to think. Did I? Because when I used to smoke hookah, I did. I, I smoked it like I smoked the blunt. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's probably why I got buzzed so quick. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I, I would get lightheaded because I hit it like a blunt.